HTML Cascading Style Sheets, or CSS. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate three different kinds of styles. The first will be using external style sheets. The second will be internal style sheet. And the last will be inline styles. So, external style sheet means a bit about what it says. That is, you have a separate file with an extension of .css that keeps the styles that you want to use to format your page, or pages, multiple pages for that matter. So here we have a style sheet and it says paragraphs with a P tag. The text color should be green. The font size is 48 pixels in this case so that you can see the actual text here otherwise it'd be pretty small and not real helpful here. In order to know that these styles affect our index page here we need to link it and here's how we link the style sheet to this particular index.html page. We put in this code here which says link and then REL stands for what you are linking, which is a style sheet. Then the type, which is the MIAM type that will be used by the browser. In this case, it's always text slash CSS. And then there's the href, which you're familiar with, which is the path to the style sheet itself. In this particular case, these two files, the HTML the index.html file and the styles.css file are located in the same folder. So that's all you need to do is put in the name of the style sheet. It's quite common for a folder to be set up as called style sheets and you would place the style sheet itself inside that folder and then in that case you'd change this URL to style sheets slash styles.css. So, with this in mind, we now have it linked. So, if we want to, we can go change the color to, let's say, this color. We have to save this. Notice there's an, there is an asterisk here, meaning you need to save this file. So, I'm going to go File, Save. And then I'm going to uh, refresh this, which I need to get up here and do... Uh, my properties and here we go now we have this new color here okay so what's good about the style sheets external style sheets in particular is that it can be attached to 10 20 100 different files in a site so that if you want to change any colors or other type of attributes you can change it in one place and it will automatically affect all the files that have this particular link in there to the style sheet. Okay, let's go on to the next type of style sheet, which is the internal style sheet. So I'm just going to paste in the text that's needed to uh, make this work. Now, internal style sheet is not actually a style sheet, but it is this particular code that is included up inside the head tag area. Okay, and it starts with this style and the type, and that's your opening tag. The closing tag is slash style. Then in between, you need to have these comment marks that's necessary for certain browsers. So it's always important to put that in here. And then you have your style, which is just like the style over here, except for it is a different uh, color. Now, it hadn't changed down here only because in Dreamweaver you have to refresh to see the view. So it is now blue. And this particular style, since it is closer to the actual text itself, let me move this down a bit, to the actual object itself, takes precedence. So this will always beat out the external style sheet. So here, again, if we want to change the color, 